Where'd your name come from? Where my name come from? Really? They've been calling me KJ since I was little, since I was young. I got a tattoo right here since I was 14. You know? They've been calling me that since I was young. And De Niro, you know? De Niro, you know where that come from. Everybody know. De Niro. We get De Niro. Everybody get De Niro. Not everybody, but I get De Niro, so my name is KJ De Niro. You know? Where you from? I'm from Tampa, Florida. You know? Shout out Team Fetty, no logo, you know what I'm saying? GMFB Empire, uh, who, uh, GHG, everybody, shout all them out. Give me a I tour of the uh, city of Tampa for someone that's never been before. Um, oh, you got the whole city. You got Cross Fletcher, you got really Cross Fletcher is where I'm mainly been, ever been. But you got you got the nice side, Carol Wood, then you got Palm River, that's really what Team Fetty and all them from. I know you heard that before, I know you heard that before. Uh, you know. Hmm, what else? Let's start with the Summer food. Springs. Let's start with the food. Where, where what's your favorite food spot in the city? Firehouse, probably Gyro. Gyro, Gyro, yeah. Gyro. What you usually order? Ten wings. Ten wings and fries. <laughs> Ten wings and fries. What else? Hey. Favorite strip club in the city? Uh, I don't like strippers. I don't like strippers. I don't go down unless I'm performing or fucking with a DJ or something. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't like strippers. But my favorite strip club, I see. Mm, Pink Pony, uh, Hush, really them two, both of them. Favorite nightclub? Epic, that shit epic. <laughs> epic, for real. Any other places you might recommend someone visit first time in Tampa? We talked about the food, nightlife. You first mentioned time. some, some, you know, little geographical locations of Tampa earlier. Any other spots mm. you would recommend someone visit? I really feel in a visit in Tampa. It really ain't. It really ain't too much in Tampa, really. Shit, unless you got kids. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It really ain't too much in Tampa. What, what, what? Unless you want to make music, make money, you know what I'm saying? Shop. Ain't really too much in Tampa. That's why I'm down here. What's your opinion of the state of rap music in Tampa right now? A lot of people out there doing their thing. A lot of people doing their thing. Like I just said, the people I shouted out, you know what I'm saying? They doing their thing, everybody. I salute everybody in Tampa doing their thing. And they, a lot of people coming out with some fire shit that a lot of niggas ain't recognizing, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's take it back a second. What type of student were you in school? Mm, I was a good student, I, you can say. I had good grades, but as a student, I wasn't a good student, but I had good grades. Let me let me rephrase that. I had good grades, but I wasn't a good student. I, it was hard to focus, shit. But school is school. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to talk about school. <laughs> Uh, I don't do school. Jobs you had growing up, if any? I never clocked in. Never clocked in. Worst thing you put your parents through? I don't put my parents through nothing. If anything, I try to help my parents through everything. Everything they going through. Anything my mom and daddy go through, I try to do anything, do my best to help them with it. You know what I'm saying? What's your message to the youth? Oh, to the youth? Grind and follow your dream. Just like me. Only thing you can do is follow your dream. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise. Don't stop. Don't just chase your dream. Let's talk music. Mm. What do you music. hate the most 
about the music industry? It's already enough hate in the music industry, so I don't. I mean, I don't hate nothing about the music industry. It's just flaws, and you know what I'm saying. Everybody has flaws, you know what I mean. So it ain't really too much. It's already enough hate, so I don't hate nothing, anything anybody do, uh, how anybody come at me. Uh, I just take it as that's how they are, you know what I'm saying. Keep it going. That's me. Top three things you need in the studio. A blunt, a mic, for sure, for sure. What type of strain? I need some perk. Some perk, for sure, for sure, some perk. And I really used to didn't like smoking perk. But now nah, I fuck with perk. And the A, perp and the A, perp and tap, I don't fuck with. But I need perk. I used to drink lean, sometimes I drink lean. Like, I don't need that in the studio. I don't need it. I really don't need nothing but a blunt of perk and a mic and a producer and a, my producer here with me. LD. Been producing for me for years. So, we already know. Craziest studio story, if you have one. Hmm. My craziest studio story. I was so going off some lean one time in the studio, I was gone, like, twisted, man. In the middle of my line, just eyes closed, just through, <laughs> through. Just can't handle no more. Realest shit you ever wrote so far in your whole collection? When I used to write, I was I was so young when I used to write that I don't. I, well, okay, real yeah. shit you ever spoke. Real shit I ever spoke on a record. Shit. Chase your motherfucking dream, and don't let nobody stop you. Shit, for you and for anybody my age or above, don't let nobody stop you. Regardless, can't stop. It's only one in the middle you see him pick out. That's, that's the line right there. That's what you're looking for. It's only one in the middle you see him pick out. What are your keys to success? Mm, break that down for me. Break that down for me. Like, what you mean? Like, um, if you've been successful in life, what, what are your tips on how to get there? Mm. If I was successful in life, I would tell people. Chase their dream, but if that's not working out, you gotta, you gotta have, you always gotta have backup plans. There's no other way you gonna make it without a backup plan. Cause if your dream not working out, it's, you through it. You just grown ass man, 30 years old, 45 years old, and you thought you was just gonna make it. You, you know, you always gotta have a backup plan from the jump. So you can start with your dream, but always have something on the side to keep you going, keep you, you know what I'm saying? Keep you up. Gotta be up. So what you got going on right now? Okay, right now, I just dropped my mixtape, same little niggas on datpiff.com. I got features from LD, Shawty Boy, Jose Guapo, uh, Smitty, Jit Tank, all of them. I got features from all of them. You go check that out on datpiff.com. Uh, I got a mixtape about to drop this summer, actually, probably in July. I'm looking forward to July. Uh, August, beginning of August, and I just did a feature with Schooly today, actually. I just did, I think I'm gonna put that on a mixtape too. Mixtape called Ain't Shit Change, cause, you know what I'm saying? Ain't shit change, no shit change, shit ain't gonna change. We still doing the same thing, so, just like that. De Niro, De Niro. And shout out Jose Guapo. Shout out Jose Guapo, shout out Schooly. Them boys keep it 1,000 with them, nigga. Every time, every time I talk to them, shout them out.